Hi, this is Alan Edwards, and I'm doing the second of my tutorials on the things I did to make a model of my Lapworth 36. Here's the actual boat, and this is the SketchUp model. And this time, what I want to do is talk about the cabin top. Cabin, cabin is interesting because it is sloped this inward on the sides, it is sloped on the front inward, and it doesn't have a box section from the top. It kind of curves in like that, and it has a curved top. So that I'm going to show how to do that. So first, you start with a new instance of SketchUp camera set to parallel projection top view. And then I'm just going to start with the basic outline uh, box of the cabin top. And then I'm going to modify that with uh, the areas where it's curved. And take the erase tool, get rid of this part. So that's the, the half footprint of what it looks like when it touches the deck. So the next thing to do is to extrude that up so that it's right at the top of the highest point. You can use exact measurements um, at the center of, of the cabin. And take this tool and bring it in until you get the slope you want at the front of the cabin, the slope you want at the side. And now I have my ha half cabin. I'm going to hit the space bar, highlight the entire cabin, and this is a really cool thing. You go and copy it, and then you go down and grab this tool and go minus one, and back up, edit, paste in place, and now you've basically taken your, your two halves and you've created a, a hole. I'm going to get rid of these center lines so that it's for sure a, a hole. Now, to make sure that I can separate geometries, I'm going to make that a group. Now, I know I want to have um, from right about there across to there up to the center is where I want to have my curve. Now, so that is, I'm going to make like a die from there that I'm going to use to extrude uh, off the top of the cabin. Now I'm going to bring that back. And then I want to get that away from the geometry. I'll separate the whole thing, do control shift to delete that, take the move tool and move along the red axis to separate these two. Now, if I just extrude this, move this over to here, and se <coughs> separate them, which I'm going to show you how to do shortly, they don't, it doesn't seem to work too well when these two touch. So I want to make sure they don't touch, but that they overlap. So I'll take this and explode it, which I'm going to need to do anyway. And I'm going to take this push-up tool, and I'm going to push it up so that I know for sure that I have an overlap. So now I'll highlight this, take the move tool, and I'm going to, along the red axis, I'm going to move this so it overlaps with that. Go back to my highlight tool, do right click, intersect, section selected, intersect selected. Now I have created a, an intersection there, and I can just go in and start deleting the, the, the parts that I, I don't want. I'm going to use my erase tool here, and go in and click on that, and find these little spiky things here that you can just run your eraser down and get rid of. And there I have my 
cabin top with the sloped side, sloped front, curved top. I can go ahead and put my portholes on it if I want. But basically, it's done. So, thank you very much for watching.